Hey guys, this is Subtle Law here, and today uh, I'm going to show you how to flash the Samsung Galaxy S3, the Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3, to Verizon's prepaid service. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is the Samsung Gusto 2. You can get these from Walmart for $19. Sometimes they sell them a Radio Shack for $9.95 a piece, which is a really good deal, to be honest with you. Okay, it needs to be turned on, activated. And you need to use the internet browser on it at least once. Okay? So let me repeat that. You need a Samsung Gusto 2 activated and to at least connect the internet on it at least one time. Alright? Now, on your Samsung Galaxy S3, you need to be running the an LJ7 ROM. And it baseband L seven one zero VP L G two. Okay. Also on your Samsung Galaxy S three, you need to have made the SBC all zeros and to have zeroed out the MEID and it ESN on it previously before this. Um, I have another video on that, so I'm not going to go into that in this video right here. Okay. Um, and last, you're going to need DFS EDMA tool. Alright, so first thing that I like to do is go ahead and connect the Samsung Gusto 2. Okay. Now, what is going on there? Alright, as you see, uh, it has connected already. Now let's go ahead and can on our Samsung Galaxy S3 for Sprint, we're going to go to the phone dialer and dial in pound pound, D-I-A-G pound, which would be pound pound, three, four, two, four pound. And we're going to check CDMA modem. And we're going to go to Qualcomm USB settings. And tap in DM modem plus ADB. I'm going to go ahead and show you that on the screen real quick. If you watch my other video, you're pretty much familiar with that. But, you know, I'm going to show it to you anyways. Okay, there's the DM plus modem plus ADB mode. Okay, we're going to hit OK, and right there you're going to see CDMA modem. Okay. I believe you will. Alright, so it stops sending ADB out. Alright, anyway, so let's go ahead and close that out. And let's go ahead and open We're going to copy this Samsung Gusto 2 password. Hit Control V. We're gonna send that to the Samsung Gusto 2. That unlock the device. We're also gonna send the SBC. Now I do that just basically for shits and giggles. It's not really necessary. Okay. Now let's go up here and let's connect to the Samsung Mobile USB COM port. And let's go ahead and send the uh, 60 SBC to it. And let's also send the. Uh, Galaxy S3 16 digit password to it. Okay, so now here at the top we're going to reconnect to. Now, the, re the way that you can tell that it's the correct port is because it's going to say WDM. That is the gusto right there. Plain out COM10, that's the Samsung Galaxy S3. Alright, so. Let's go first to programming and let's hit read. Um, you don't need to hit all these reads right here. Just hit read there, read there, read there. Um, let me hit read there just because I'm curious about something. Okay, now up here at the top, let's connect to COM port 10 again. And let's hit right there. Let's hit right right there. And let's hit right right there. 
Okay, now let's go over the NAM section right there. And let's go connect to the WDM up here at the top. And let's hit read right here. And then over here, we're going to hit load. And we're going to find where we have. the 5300 URL and we're going to hit right right here and then we're going to hit right right there okay everything's done take care and let's go over to the data section let's switch back over son of a bitch I made mistakes too all right click on com 10 let's hit right and let's hit right Alright, now let's go to the data section. Let's go up here to the. Make sure that we hit WDM right here. Let's hit read. And let's make. After we hit read, let's go to serial port 10. And let's hit write. Um, let's go to mobile IP and let's switch up here to WDM. And let's hit read. Okay, now let's switch down to COM port number 10, and let's hit right, and then let's hit right again. Um, let's switch that to mobile IP. I, that's what my preferred thing is. I feel like it works all the time, so. Okay. And that is it. Uh, all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit reset. On the device now earlier earlier um, real quick let me just go over this earlier I wrote to the wrong phone as long as you write the same settings to the donor phone that was on the donor phone nothing no big deal but if you write the wrong settings to the donor phone you're basically you, you can dial star two two eight and try to fix it but I'm not guaranteeing anything. Um. Now, we'll go ahead and close that out. Disconnect it. Open up droid.screen.jar so that you can see what I'm doing here. Okay. So, for some reason, I'm getting a no sim error. I'm guessing that has something to do with the IMEI. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to settings, more settings, mobile networks, network mode, and we're going to, let me wait for this to play catch up, and we're going to click CDMA. Phone will be, will be root, comply any customer settings. Alright, so we're going to reboot that. Alright, and we are officially done, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you got any questions or comments, I'll post it in the thread. Um, please don't be a troll.